And this week's shop, obviously all the Black Friday offers are still here, so let's go through them again and see if there is still something that is worth it before they disappear for good. Now we've got these fingerprints here that you can buy crates with, so ignore that. You do have the Endurance and also the Mutant here, neither of these two vehicles are particularly good, so I don't recommend them from a gameplay perspective whatsoever. They're also very overpriced if you compare it to the price of the T95 E6, which is right here, which costs $15.99. And uh, it is cheaper than these two T7s, so stay the heck away from them. Then we have these bundles right here, which I don't understand why Wargaming just smashes them together like this. Maybe to miss bundles, but again, this bundle is terrible as well. So the T95 is worth it if you are a good player. And obviously the Centurion is also a good vehicle if you are a decent player, given that you don't have the STRV. Now, obviously I already talked about these in detail last week, so check that out. But basically, all of the vehicles that were there are now back again. As you can see, the blue and the green are back. So, what is worth buying? KPZ 50T, the Object 777, is worth buying. Then, what is worth buying? None of these. The Burrask is very much worth buying. The ML951 is good. The Type 57 was available in a better bundle before. Obviously, this vehicle is terrible. And the TF4E2 is a must-have right here. So, they're all in here. But what I would buy, TH-42, Object 777, and KPZ-50T. That is my recommendation. And obviously, the Type 62 as well, which is an excellent vehicle and is a lot of fun. The rest of them, not that good. The resource section, it's got credits in it, which is less value, so ignore that. And the tank section is, uh, well, non-existent. You got the Unstoppable Friends, which is a decent bundle if you want to collect them. And the Charlemagne, which... Kind of pointless, really. I mean, there isn't anything new here, basically. You can still buy the uh, coupons in the shop that you can use on the uh, Vipera and uh, the Lorraine and the uh, 116. But it's not worth it at this point. All right, and now let's go with the 777. And unlike the 5A, this one doesn't like children. And it also is much better. And if you like... The 113, this could be a very useful addition to the garage right there. Obviously, KPZ-50T is also very excellent. The Badger, if you like a tank destroyer. The T-54A2 if you need a tier 8. Or the Type 57 if you want something more Soviet-styled. And the Type 62. Those are the ones that I can definitely recommend, of course. And uh, this one on top if you are looking for something a little bit more special. So... I push forward here, gonna take the space. The fat shed is gonna be stuck here. And I'm just gonna take this position because I can just hold this angle, I'll be fine. And now I have taken that position. There's a 183 over there, which I'm gonna bait just a little bit. And I don't wanna bait him too much because I don't wanna get shot. Basically, the way you do this is you angle yourself so that only the outside track is shown. Meaning that if they do try and get a shot, the only thing that is going to get damaged is the track because there's no armor behind the outside track in 99.9% of tanks. So, obviously, there are enough people that fall for that, so it is very useful. Especially against the 183, so where the shell is bigger than the track wheel. Okay, now the wheel's gone. Well, that's a free win. That is a free win right here. Not bad. That is... Uh, what is that? Why is that 5A camping and spawn? That is uh, great. Now that even 100, he's gonna... <laughs> Gee, this game. This game... Alright. The uh, Object 140 just rammed himself to death. And now it is a 2 versus 4. What the heck just happened? We were winning easily, and then the Object 140 decided to end himself. And now, uh, what the heck? Okay, it's quite interesting. That is quite interesting. Well, 3k damage. That it should... No. Oh boy. I love this game. I just love this game all the way. Keep bouncing, boys. Keep bouncing. Keep bouncing. We're gonna go to 4k right here. The E100. I mean, he can't get around me. I'm gonna stay close to the E5 here. Uh, obviously, 57 is a problem. He already fired twice, but he's currently reloading, so he's the easiest target. I'm gonna try to... Eh, don't do that. 
still reloading. Oh, leopard. That's dumb. Um, <laughs> don't expect that, boy. Well, that's 4.5k damage. So, the vehicle works very well. I have no idea what happened to that team. But, as you can see, it is a good tank. That is worth it. If you are a good player. And, uh, yeah. Let's find ourselves another tank to play. Because it's the same stuff in the shop as the last two weeks. 590 is probably the best Soviet to rate medium tank in the game at the moment. I mean, the competition isn't very good in the first place. All of them are pretty much terrible. So, this is the vehicle where if the Centurion's 190 alpha damage are a big turnoff and the Barask is just a little bit too complicated, this one is the perfect middle ground between those two. So, that is what I would recommend, basically. Here we go. Uh, play this middle position here. Obviously, there's the T-4E2, the vehicle that, if you don't have it, buy that. And there's an AMX M449, which is the T-4E2 in French, which means worse in this case. Same. He's also a worse player, as you can very clearly see. And the ISU-130 is also terrible. Uh, what the heck's happening right here? The, both the, uh, the SU and the ISU are... Uh, Escaped from a mental facility, probably. So, let's see. Don't want to peek too far because the AMX is still back there. So I'm going to be very careful here. Obviously, the team has given up every semblance of sense uh, right here. No high ground, no map control, nothing. Just trash. So I'm going to have to go around, play this T28, hopefully, to get some sort of control back here. Um, perhaps... Somewhat convert that and get rid of that guy, but here comes the tier 54 already over the hill, which I'm gonna have to deal with now. Track him and I maybe get the MX on the case there. Unless the T28 decides to peek over the hill, which would be quite useful. Obviously, I can't go up here now as easily without taking a shot from the tier 54. So I'm gonna have to go for that. Uh, now I can push because he's gonna be reloading and I have enough time to move myself up there. But here comes the Barask because again we have no map control because my team's dog shit. So let's see. I have to move past here. Uh, take the point like that. Obviously I'm gonna low roll because that's just that much more fun. And here comes the uh, other guy as well. MX. And of course, there is some guy camping in the Yak Panther. Isn't that beautiful? All right, let's get the heck out of here. Um, we're gonna lose, of course. That's actually does appropriately roll. Not bad. I have 190 hit points now, which is exactly one shot of the STRV. Let's see. When I peek him here, the Barask can peek me, so that is very dangerous right here to play. Um, but I'm gonna have to put both of them low to make them somewhat work and then now both of them are low and now I'm gonna have to watch out for the Yag Panther what might push behind me and uh, there we go that's beautiful and now the question is both of them are terrible that's good but they're separate I have 190 hit points I'm not gonna survive a shot from either of them and the MX-13 is the only one that is actually healthy enough to fight anybody so I think the MX is probably the better target here. The MX is already going for it. Um, and the projectile is waiting, sort of, on it. Uh, so I'm going to go past here. A little bit of a risky move. He's 1,400 hit points. Which means this game is unwinnable. Despite this guy being utter trash. Uh, it's probably not going to be very winnable. And uh, he's going to jump down on the MX. There is the Hat Panther pushing and... There's also no way of winning against him unless I can somehow get around him. Unless I can somehow get to his side. Um, there's basically no way of uh, getting this one done. Okay, I'm gonna have to turn forward. Yeah, look at his driving. His driving skill is terrible. Um, so I'm gonna have to track him and then jump down. Just not like that. Okay, come on, turn. Nope, that's fucked. Oh, okay, he lost. Hopefully, come on. Accelerate, accelerate. Speed, speed, speed. Shit, he's gonna wedge me in the corner. Gotta go. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. And I gotta go forward and hope the MX doesn't kill me from down there. She ha. 
But I'm not gonna go forward now. Do me quickly. And he screwed it. Let's go. Ha <laughs> ha! Perfect. That's how we wanna do it. Okay. 3.3k. I think he doesn't have enough elevation to get up here. Well, he does now. If he stays away that far, he does have enough elevation. Okay, distance, distance, distance is what we need right now. Gonna get as far away from this guy as possible to play the map control because he's 1,100. And uh, that is quite a lot of hit points. And he also has very decent armor. So that's what we're gonna have to play right here. Um, gonna go all the way up here. See uh, if he tries to attack the AMX. Like he turns around and tries to go uh, towards this area because that means he's gonna expose his side to me. Um, obviously, if he drives up straight, then that could be somewhat of a problem. Um, nothing to be seen here anywhere. Oh, there he is. Well, he did drive past. Um, so now, again, just like this, I can have his side right here. That's what I want to have. And I'm spotted now, which is kind of sad. Um, but, uh, yeah, the MX is one, 1 HP now, which is a bit of a problem. I'm gonna try and go... To this side. Now, I don't know whether he's gonna turn or not, because if he does turn, I'm pretty much stuck here, and I'm gonna have to rely on the MX uh, 13 to shoot him in the back. Oh, there he is. That's exactly what I'm, what's gonna happen, and I am indeed stuck here. Alright, AMX, come on. Come on, little guy. Two shots. Come on. You can do it. One more. There we go. Disappear. Ah, he bounced. Okay, this is, this is great. Now you have to disappear. You have to run away. You can't pen his front. What are you doing? What is he doing? What? He could have easily run away completely. But, okay. This guy. I have no idea what this game is. Come on. No. <laughs> uh, lol. Alright. Well, that's 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 World of Tanks Blitz for you. Anyway, that's uh, 4,000 damage in the 590. As you can see, it is quite good. And maybe it is worth it. So with that said, thank you very much for watching, and see you in the next one. Goodbye.